in this video we will add some more features to our to do's app uh, one is that we are displaying this dummy list as soon as this application is launched a uh, fixed list is displayed with the help of uh, this dummy list that we create over here we'll see that how we can do this and uh, also we are displaying the the number item number over here uh, by default this add button is disabled and as soon as I type this button is enabled and also whenever as whenever I add some item so it will uh, dismiss the keyboard and the item is displayed over here I can also update the item for example and uh, we see the update button over here and when I update the item item has been updated and button is back on the add state or the add text and I can add a new item like this and this item has been added and also when I remove the items or the list is empty and there are no to do's item so by default this uh, object or this uh, JSX is uh, displayed so we are actually switching between the states and we are checking between the scroll view or the empty scroll view and uh, we are making decision on this and as soon as an item is added in the list like this so if I add this so that uh, no to do item list has been removed that object has been removed and I can also update this in this way and when I remove this it's displaying this JSX let's add uh, index number with the items so that uh, we see the item number over here uh, to do this uh, we are already mapping the uh, the list using a array map function of uh, JavaScript so what you can do is the second argument is always the index so either uh, you can name it as i you can name it as index so uh, with the mapping function you have a second in a second argument as an index and uh, you can use that as an array index so let's say for example if I want to display the uh, index over here before this uh, data so let's say for example I use index and I make a hash symbol with this and I save this so you see that the item has been added over here and uh, with, along with the item we are having the index so uh, array index are uh, always maintained with the starting with the zero uh, we can increment it by one so that we see the list number and it will be maintained let's say for example if I remove or delete the item one so it will be removed from here and the item two would take the first index so you see that it's on the index number one and if I add item number one again and uh, this is at index 2 and item 3 is at index 3 and once I delete this it will be removed and will take the index back again so that's how actually you can work with the index one more thing we want to do with this app is uh, another thing is that it should be add text over here and uh, metric color is default or I can uh, choose uh, some good uh, color scheme uh, color combination of the text and the uh, button background which for example reduce the size a bit uh, one thing is that I don't want to add an empty item like this so I want to disable this so but the default button we have in uh, react native it has a disabled property so uh, let me show you the button so this is the the default button uh, of uh, react native and uh, it has a property which is disabled 
and uh, if it's uh, taking a boolean value as uh, true so it will be disabled <coughs> and it will look like this so this is our custom button we cannot make it look like this by default by just using the disable property uh, we need to use our custom uh, stylings over here so how we can first we need to see that how we can identify or how we can check that when do we need to disable it we are already using get text so get text is something that is having the text whenever user type uh, so as long as I type it uh, set the text so I can check through the get text uh, the length its uh, string so if length is less than or equal to zero uh, button should be disabled so if I save this so now this disable is not is not always disabled the button is this one and I can as soon as I type something it is enabled and as soon as I remove items and last item is removed it's disabled so because whenever we type something uh, it's changing the text with the help of set text uh, react hook so when the state is updated it's updating the uh, the state of this button as well now we want to use this disable property with our custom button so let's go and see our custom button uh, in our custom button uh, we have a touchable opacity and uh, touchable opacity is performing the add operation always so let's see if I remove these so it's always adding the empty items so we can also use or touchable opacity is also providing us with the disable property so if touchable opacity is disabled it is actually disabled and now I cannot tap on this but its look and feel is not just like a disabled uh, like we have with the react native default button so to do this we just need to play around with the properties and the styling uh, we can also send the disabled prop from here let's say for, for example disabled or it can be anything let's say for example let's keep it as disabled and I can use the same uh, logic over here and I can pass on the disabled property and I can get through the props so props dot disabled and uh, I can get this now let's say for example uh, now I cannot add the empty item over here but if I add something and if I press add it's added over here like this right so but empty is not possible to add uh, in this uh, list so which means that it is disabled but look and feel is not disabled so let's first comment out this one so what do we need to do is we need to identify that either this disabled prop is true or not so if it's true we can uh, check this so if props dot disabled if it's disabled then definitely we need to have a different uh, button color as we can continue with uh, the, the traditional one so we can have it as let's say for example gray color and this button color is used as a background color uh, with uh, the view which is actually uh, the border and the surroundings of uh, this button so if I save this you see this button is disabled so as soon as I add another item oh, sorry it's adding over there so add another item item number five so you see that it's enabled as soon as I type in and when once it's empty 
uh, it's uh, disabled it's giving look as a disabled and it's not uh, tap uh, tapable and I cannot click on it because touchable opacity is disabled so we can do this and we can send a prop disabled prop over here this can be any name it's not necessary to be a disabled name or uh, you can use it over here through the props and I am checking that if it's disabled uh, it's gray is gray it's uh, background color is gray so let's add another item so as soon as I type it's enabled and if I remove item it's disabled so that's how we can work around with our custom buttons it's a nice way to display uh, some uh, text giving the information that there are no items in the list so let's add that so view and uh, we'll have a text <coughs> wrapped inside the view no to do items excited nothing to do and uh, let's add some style so let's say a padding uh, we need top padding actually so we add some top padding and uh, for uh, text styles we can add some style for the text which for example uh, font style should be better to have italic and uh, font size may be increased a bit and mm, font or oh, the color is gray So no to do items, hooray. So we want to display this when uh, there is no item, but uh, the thing is that if I add any item, uh, it will remain over there. So once uh, there are items in the list, I want this message to go away and once there, there is no item, this should appear. So to do this we definitely need to use the if condition and we need to decide that either we display this one or we display this scroll view. So if we and we can check through the uh, get list length and if we want to do this let's add an if condition over here or if block. and uh, get list dot length something like this but we see we have an error over here which is saying that expression expect expected which means that over here they are expecting an uh, expression <coughs> and uh, to do this uh, it's better if we move this logic from here to the top inside our function instead of ins inside the return statement so we'll create a constant jsx uh, ex uh, statements uh, to display the list the scroll view list and the no to do items message so let's say scroll view we can copy this scroll view entire tag from here so I will move this from here to this constant so this is JSX the constant variable containing JSX and in that JSX we have a scroll view so I just uh, make it minimize and also I need to have a message which is used for empty in case of empty scroll view or empty list let's call it 
empty scroll view and uh, we can move this style from here to there now you see everything is gone because nothing has been displayed down there in return so I can have a condition over there in return I can use ternary operator to decide this and use that expression get list dot length if the length is less than or equal to zero definitely it's not less than zero ever it would be equal to zero I want to display the empty scroll view otherwise I want to display the scroll view JSX so when once its uh, length is less than zero it's empty so let's remove this item from here So when once there is no item it's displaying uh, this message and when I add an item let's say I need to go for shopping I add this and the text is uh, removed so we can use separate JSX objects over here and uh, I can make a decision inside the return statement because this will be rendered every time when I make any changes uh, it will be rendered again and uh, whenever I add an item whenever I add item it will be added in the list and when the item is removed and the list is empty it will display the empty scroll view JSX element so you see like this if I add this so it's been added and if I remove this it displays this message so that's how you can do this one more thing about the items which are maintained through the state object or the react hooks uh, initially when this application is loaded I want to show some hard-coded items uh, one way is that I can use a constant over here inside this component which for example I can name it to do items and I can create an array of objects and initially we have a key which is I can copy this object from here and I can just change the data part so data is let's say for example any hard coded string let's say shopping I can copy this and uh, and have to go to for exercise and prepare lunch do the assignment like this so we have this to do items and I can initiate this list from these to do items so if I refresh we see that we are getting this uh, items by default but keeping everything inside this component is not a good idea I can rather have uh, a swap separate folder for let's say for example uh, constants or I can make it models models are more appropriate for the classes so constants is uh, rather more appropriate keyword so let's say dummy to do list dot js and I can move this list from here so that we have one place to change this list maybe we we are using this list somewhere else also in our application later on but it's a good idea to keep the things uh, separate according to uh, their availability so you see we have an error because there is no to do items so we can uh, uh, we have uh, 
put over here we need to also export this uh, to do items so and uh, when we export this we need to import using the import statement from the constants and that is the me to do list we don't need to supply dot js and uh, because it's not default export it's named export so I need to use this as a name export over here and I just refresh this and uh, I need to reload this application because it's not part of this uh, uh, this component this component is re-rendered when the items are specified over here now we need to re-render because we have changed the imports as well so let's refresh so here we go now we are using to do items which is actually uh, in the constants and in a separate file and whenever I need to increase or decrease the items I need to go into this file and remove or add items and I am initially using these items and this list would be maintained let's say for example item 5 I add this I tap on this screen this list so this item has been added over here and uh, I am doing console log whenever an item is added so you see that item 5 has been added over here so that's how you can uh, make constants and uh, use uh, with the help of constant imports and this is a named import it's not default imp uh, export so we need to import with the curly braces because it's named uh, with the to do items so we export to do items and we need to use to do items over here like this what about if I want to update any item in the list if I want to tap on any of these and I should be able to edit this or update this so uh, this is a touchable opacity and I can use this uh, and this touchable opacity has no on press uh, event but this one has uh, on press event so when I tap on this it's removed from the list and uh, to add this I can have a on press event over here so when I, uh, when I tap any of the item I want to first display the text over here so let's uh, call it uh, another function which is added item and in added item I want to receive the object or the text let's say for example if I get the item text so I can send item text from here added item and uh, item dot data and uh, once I receive this uh, item text I want to display on the text box and text box is actually showing with the help of the value and the get text which means I need to set text so that get text should display the uh, value over there so set text item text So when I tap on this, I see the text and this button is enabled. So when I tap on this, this is button and this one is enabled. So now the problem is that if I press add, although it should be renamed to update, so if I press add, it's been added as a new item. So if I tap on this, let's say. I add on this and you see that exercise 2 has been added over here 
so instead of uh, editing it's actually adding the items so one thing is that we are sending text over here and we are uh, uh, displaying this this text and the add operation actually uh, adds the item so one thing is that we need to send the entire object because we need to find out the index and we need to replace this so let's uh, do this in a harder harder way or the hard coded way so i am having the item over here now so if I bring the functionality again, so I will use item dot data to display the item. So whenever I tap any of the item, I am displaying the data. And we have two parts of this object, which is data and the key. So if I tap on this, we are getting the key. So which means that I can search through the key, which is unique from the list which is this list and I can further replace this item from from the list so let's see how we can do this so to replace the item from the list uh, we need to perform something with this uh, button and uh, one thing is that this button should change or convert into the update uh, update text so we need to maintain a state over here somewhere uh, so that as soon as this button is tapped uh, I need to change this into the uh, the update so which means that I must know that I am in editing mode so I can say that uh, editing item set editing item and you can use a state object and uh, I can use the key instead uh, let's say for example I'm using the zero key uh, which would be uh, unique and will not be generated automatically or I can use any other key let's say for the minus one or any other thing according to your own algorithm so I need to identify that if I am in editing item and uh, I need to also set the editing item set editing item as item dot key so I know that once this is set uh, other than zero uh, having some key so that uh, I can change the text of this button from add to update so I can uh, put some checks on the props as well or I can also do the same thing as we did with the scroll view that we can create a two buttons and I just switch the buttons between the update and the add so let's do this way that I use the ternary operator over here and use the edit item or editing item so if uh, editing item is uh, zero, which means that it's not editing, then the text would be add. Otherwise, text would be update. So if I save this, so initially uh, editing item is uh, zero when this is loaded. And when I tab this, it will convert into the update. And uh, let's, uh, let's uh, change this so that you see the difference so if I set editing to let's say 0 so if I tap on this you see it's add so let's undo this so now we also need to change the add item uh, event to update item as well so based on if I'm in editing mode so because I'm not going to or I don't want to add this so because when I tap on let's say shopping and if I update to some other item and if I press update so this item is also added 
another thing is that I need to dismiss this uh, keyboard so let's do that as well so shopping to has been added even the button text is updated because text will not do anything actually this is the event that is happening or adding this item so I need to actually dismiss the keyboard so I can use the keyboard uh, available uh, keyboard class available in uh, react native and I can use the dismiss so I need to add the keyboard and I can use keyboard dot dismiss method so dismiss method so it will dismiss the keyboard as soon as I enter something so let's say exercise update and it will hide the keyboard so this is my keyboard shopping 3 I update and it will dismiss the keyboard so this is my items which are keep uh, which keep adding so I need to update the item and in this case I don't need to pass anything I just uh, need to because I am getting I can get the key from uh, editing item so I can get the key and I can replace the item uh, in the list so to replace the item I can use the same thing because I need to update the list and uh, to update the list I can use the map function over here and uh, I, I want to uh, check the eat each item from the uh, the key of each item and I want to compare with the editing or the key which I am going to edit or I am in currently in editing mode so editing item is the key editing item is is actually the key so I need to use the uh, comparison or ternary operator over here so I can uh, use it like this so if uh, the key matches uh, in the item I need to create the object and it will be replaced so if it matches I am keeping the uh, edit item key or even I can use it same key dot key and for the data I need to get the data from the get text prop uh, sorry get get text state which is this one because I am setting the state as soon as uh, I change the text in the in the text box and I can get the text updated text I, I, and I want to replace with the help of map function so I will replace the object only with that object uh, on which the key is actually matching with the the object so it will actually iterate through and will, will match the key and key is something which is unique in uh, our this list and uh, otherwise if it does not match I just don't need to do I just uh, put that object back in this way so if I change this to shopping shopping something and I press update it's dismissing and it's adding so now the problem is that I have created this update item but this update item is not called uh, from this button because this button is calling the add item so I can use the same mechanism and see that if I'm editing something I if I'm not editing something I will call the add item function otherwise I will call the update item function so exercise adding some text update so it's update it over here if I update the shopping so adding some text or editing this if I tap on update so it's updated over here so another thing is that text is not clear I can also do this 
that as soon as update is done I can change the text or the set text to empty if I save this and if I update this prepare lunch instead of lunch I say the prepare dinner I update this so it's being updated and you see that the text is still update and uh, it's not add but you see that it's disabled and the text is empty now so how can I bring this update back to the add text the thing is that I need to because uh, this text is displayed based on the editing item so I can change this state the uh, or the react hook after the update set editing item back to zero if I save this I added this I update this text is clear and now it's back on add I can remove the items from the list so I can add some new item I can edit that item so it's updated so that's how you can do this